Hi, uh, I'm Tim Merton, author of Statistics in Plain English, and in this video we're going to do a little explanation and description of the standard error of the mean, how to calculate it, um, and how to interpret it. So there's two formulas for calculating the standard error of the mean. They're really similar. Uh, the only difference really is whether you know the population standard deviation or not. If you know the population standard deviation, you use it in the formula. And this is the symbol for the standard error of the mean using the population standard deviation. And if you don't know the population standard deviation, you use the sample standard deviation. And that's the, form, the symbol for the standard error of the mean using the sample standard deviation. The formulas are both really similar. It's the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. Same thing here, it's just a matter of whether you're using the sample estimate of the standard deviation or the actual population standard deviation. So let's work through a couple of these and um, interpret them. So um, let's suppose that you know that in the population of people who take their driver's test, the standard deviation is five. And you've got a sample, a random sample of 100 individuals. Now, you can use that information to calculate the standard error of the mean, and you just plug those numbers into this formula. You get the standard error of the mean is 5, which is the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size equals 5 over 10 equals 0 0.50. So the standard error of the mean here is 0 0.50. What's that tell you? It says that when you have randomly selected samples of n equals 100, the average difference between the sample means and the population mean is 0.5 or half a point on the driver's test. Now let's suppose we don't know the population standard deviation. We're going to use the sample standard deviation, which we'll say is 7. The calculations are just the same. We just substitute the sample standard deviation in there, which was 7. 7 divided by the square root of 100 is 7 divided by 10 equals 0 0.70. The average difference between the sample mean and the population mean when the samples are randomly selected and n equals 100 is 0 0.70 points on the driver's test. Um, the standard error of the mean is a measure of how much difference you would expect to get between the sample statistic and the population parameter, between the sample means and the population mean, in this case, when samples are randomly selected and of a given size. Um, they tell you how much variation you would expect to get just due to random sampling, just due to who you happen to get in your random sample. And it's a pretty useful statistic uh, because then you can compare that to the actual difference that you see in other statistics, like is the difference between my sample mean and my population mean large or small compared to how much difference I would expect to get just due to random sampling. So the standard error of the mean is one of the standard errors we'll talk about. There's a lot of standard errors. Every statistic has a standard error associated with it. And it gives you an idea of how much variation to, you would expect to get just due to random samples. So that's it. Hope that was helpful.